Tony D and Little Joan with a screenwriter's rant on, uh, I think it's a Nigerian soap opera called Dangerous Love. And I think it's the second season. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Heart in South Jersey. It's the Pineys. Books 1 through 11 available at Amazon.com. Don't forget, Kindle Unlimited is free. This is on a channel called Yoruba Wood, which is a type of, I think it's a type of wood that African carvings are made out of sometimes. Anyhow, this comes out of Nollywood. I'm seeing some improvements here in their production. There's still some issues, I think. Um, <laughs> one of the problems is they're subtitling the dialogue in English, and I can barely keep, I had to pause it a few times to, to read the entire thing. And then the wording on those subtitles are odd to me. So here's, here's a sentence. Because you've seen her fair lap, you put her on yours. Which I kind of get, but at the same time, it's, a, it's, it's kind of an odd way to word that, right? So, as much as I could gather from the trailer, it's about a music promoter who is cheating on his wife. He, she's okay with the cheating, but she draws the line at her younger sister. So, and then there's a lot of drama. Because I think it's a soap opera. The way it's shot, it feels like a soap opera to me. Um, the lead actress, she seems pretty good. She's a little over the top, but you know, I think with the, I think if she had toned it down just a little, she'd been right on point. But she doesn't miss it by much. Um, some of the other actors are kind of eh. Again. A lot of the Nigerian stuff feels like they literally pulled people off the streets and said, hey, you want to be in a movie? <laughs> like, this guy isn't bad. Um, but again, they don't seem to be really into the costuming aspects of it. Because I, I think letting a lot of people with t distracting t-shirts can distract you from the focus on the character. So, um, so in this scene, I, I think they kidnapped this girl. I'm not sure who she is to the entire cast, but, and then this was interesting too. He's in a discussion about, should he marry a second wife, <laughs> which I guess is legal. I'm going to assume is legal in Nigeria. Um, and then in this scene. She gives them money to the manager uh, as a gift, and he kind of blesses her. Uh, May you not be ruined, which I guess whatever he said doesn't quite translate into English. So it's kind of fascinating to watch these, to me. May evil not befall you, which I thought is kind of interesting. And she seems, I don't know why she's giving him the money. She seems kind of upset. But um, the nuances, I think, of what's going on are, are going right past me. But the basics are there for soap opera because, you know, you've got volatile relationships that change over time. And that's key to uh, any soap opera. you got to have a ton of relationships and then this person's cheating on that person and then suddenly this person falls in love with a completely different person that isn't their wife or husband or and then there's uh there's all sorts of intrigue all kinds of intrigue but ultimately it's not about like shootouts or anything like that it's about endless relationships and cliffhangers too uh at least in the i'm not really seeing a cliffhanger here but seems to be enough going on that be perfectly functional as a uh, soap opera. The production value is not bad. Some of it sounds a little off. A little off. But it's a it's a, it's a a step up from some of the stuff I've seen before. Um, you know. So I, I can't really give it a three-act breakdown. I'm kind of clueless on what exactly is going on. Or where they are. That's another thing. If they want to, uh, you know, broaden the appeal of the show, and I think they should want to, uh, because 
there are people in the United States they, they love they can't get enough of soap operas. So, you know, uh, definitely the, uh, the subtitles help, but I would also say broaden it out a little bit just to let us know where they are, you know, where they are and what the stakes are. It's not totally clear to me. Uh, it'd be nice to know that, you know, assume, you know, and, and this is a big thing in Hollywood right now there. They want to uh, capture a world audience and there's kind of only so much you can capture. However, you want to have at least just enough breadcrumbs there. So if anybody does want to get into this out of, out of another country, you know, that they could, uh, especially in a trailer, you know, and you do have a lot of, I'm sure, expat pats from Nigeria, um, some of which might be second generation, might not speak the local languages and say, well, I'd love to get into a Nigerian soap opera, but I can't understand what the heck they're saying. Um, so that I think would benefit them um, to help people watch the thing. And it's on YouTube, it, seemingly. I mean, a lot of it's on YouTube. A lot of stuff's on YouTube, at least a lot of clips. It says movie. Oh, okay. Doesn't feel like a movie. Feels like a soap opera. Feels like a TV thing. Um, some of the outside stuff seems more movie-like. The stakes don't seem movie. The lighting here seems more TV to me. I don't know. It, sometimes they put this in the title and it's wrong and it is a TV show, but I don't know any of the actors. No, I don't recognize any of them. I mean, I don't remember any of the previous ones I've seen in the other Nollywood stuff. But it's interesting to see, um, you know, other, in this case, movie uh, developed. This is a little dark then for uh, movie lighting. Need a need to lighten up his face a little more so we could see his expression. Um, this is almost too bright for a movie. This feels like a TV studio. So, cinematography. This is a little more movie like, but again, it's hard to see his expression. So you'd want to take. Uh, and I've been a PA on set, so what they do is they take what's called a bounce board, and it's usually a white or silver. And you'll have a PA, like me, stand uh, in front of the actor, angling the reflection of the light up into the actor's face. And then one of the lights in uh, that's off camera somewhere will bounce off the board and then up into the actor's face. And you'll get, you'll get this part of the face, which, you know, it, his skin tone makes it more difficult. But even in uh, an actor who's uh, lighter skin tone, it's good to just see the face. And, it, and really, you want to mainly just illuminate the face. The rest of them's fine because it's got um, different shades of color. And you kind of want that in the movie. You want, you know, you don't want it to all be the same. You want it to have different shades. But for the face, you need to see the face because you need to see the actors. And the actors here slightly cut above the previous ones I've seen. Um, you know, this guy, I could see him uh, being in something. He's, uh, he's, the thing that's good about an actor like him is he's only playing, I think he's playing like a thug, maybe a criminal, but he is, um, you know, he's only playing that. He seems very focused on what his character's doing. And that's really the key for a lot of actors. It, they don't try to do everything in a scene. Um, so definitely seeing some improvement here coming out of Nollywood. They certainly produce a ton of stuff. It's amazing how much stuff comes out of Nigeria. Um, so it's called Dangerous Love 2, premiering Friday, May 2nd. Oh, I guess it's already premiered. Um, I don't know. I don't know if you could sit through the whole movie if you don't understand the language, but... Kind of an interesting trailer if you want to check it out. And that's it for me, Tony D, and Little Joan. Check us out on Odyssey, BitChute, and Rumble for our more base takes. It's Memorial Day. There's not a lot going on. So we'll just chill out, do a few videos, and call it a day.